Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back. So today I'm going to be sharing with you how I made this barn quilt inspired sign. To get started, I cut a one inch thick piece of lumber into an eight inch square. I then picked out a craft paint made by Folk Art in the color Vintage White. Then I quickly gave the lumber two coats of paint. I then sketched out a design that I wanted to use onto some graph paper and then scribbled all over the back side so that I could easily transfer it onto the board itself. After lining up the design on the board, I carefully held it in place and used a pencil to transfer the design simply by tracing over all the squares that I wanted painted. Once I had traced all the lines, I carefully lifted the design to make sure that it had transferred nicely to the other side. It doesn't show up very well on camera, but you can see it better in real life. I then picked an accent color by Americana in Lamp Black. Then using a small detailed brush, I simply started painting in my design. Next, it was time to build a frame. So I'm using this lath board, which is about a quarter inch thick by about two inches wide. And I'm just lining it up along one side of the painting and making a mark. And then using my miter, box, and saw, I simply cut it to size. I then continue to do the same thing for all the remaining three sides, making sure that I cut two pieces that were shorter in length and two pieces that were longer, which would overlap the two shorter pieces to form a frame. Next I painted all the frame pieces in my accent color and then took a piece of sandpaper and distressed the edges. I also used my sandpaper to lightly distress my design to give it a little bit more of an aged look. To enhance the aged look I used this cream wax by Americana Decor in the color Deep Brown. After pouring a small amount onto a clean t-shirt rig, I simply wiped it all over my design. I then used another piece of rig to buff out the wax. The final step is to attach the frame. So I laid the pieces out making sure that they were in the right position before I permanently attached them to the board. To attach the frame, I'll be using this brad nailer, which uses one inch brad nails. You could also use finishing nails and a hammer. I attached each piece of the frame with three brad nails, and that is it, project complete. Here's a look at the finished barn quilt. I put it on a shelf in my kitchen, and I absolutely love how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye now.